SvelteKit, a framework for building server-rendered web applications with the world's most loved UI library. It was created by the creator of Svelte himself, Rich Harris, and hit version 1.0 in 2022. Most importantly, it provides a universal way to render Svelte on Node.js and other JavaScript Edge runtimes. This allows the server to fetch data up front, so the browser can receive fully rendered HTML, which can be critical for performance and SEO. Then JavaScript takes over to render all future pages like a fast and smooth single-page application. It provides a built-in router where every page component represents the UI for a unique URL. Each component, though, can have a corresponding JavaScript file to handle data fetching. This file exports a load function, and the return value is made available on the component while providing automatic end-to-end -end type safety. In addition, the data is made available on a Svelte store, which can be accessed from any component and eliminates the need for complex state management architectures. Pages can also handle server-side actions like form submissions to update the current page with zero client-side JavaScript. Forms can then be progressively enhanced to improve improve the front-end user experience with JavaScript. In addition to pages, layouts can be used to share UI across multiple child routes, and they can even fetch their own data. And finally, we have server files that export functions like git, post, patch, and delete to build RESTful APIs. To get started, create a new project with the CLI. You'll notice it uses Vite as the build tool, then we can create our first page by going to the routes directory. Right-click, and the tooling will help you easily create the required file. I'm wrapping this URL in brackets to make it a dynamic route that will give us a username parameter we can access throughout the application. Notice how the component has a prop of data using the page data interface. This interface is automatically generated based on how we load data from the server in the application. That data can be loaded from a page.ts file. Inside the load function, we can access the URL parameters, like we might take the username and make a fetch call to an API. Once we have our data, we just return it from this function, then we can access it with full IntelliSense back in the UI component. The initial page load will be rendered on the server, and we can use Svelte head to set a title and meta tag for search bots. We might also want to access this data on deeply nested shared components defined in the lib directory, and instead of using techniques like prop drilling, we can easily access it on the page data store. The code we just wrote is universal, meaning it can run on both the client and the server. However, you can tell the framework to only run code on the server using the server extension. In a server file, you can access things like databases and environment variables that you wouldn't want exposed client-side, and define actions, which are functions that run on the server, that can be tied directly to form submissions in the front end code. You can mix and match different rendering strategies like SSR, ISR, and pre-rendering, then use adapters to deploy to any major platform. This has been SvelteKit in 100 seconds. Check out my new full SvelteKit course if you want to build a full project with it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.